top of the morning to you. That was a little scary. So to knock is to repeatedly hit something, making a noise like repeated tapping to get someone's attention to gain entry. The Bible talks about knocking in several places. In Song of Songs 5-2, Listen, my beloved, is knocking and asking me to open, my flawless one. This signifies the lover of our soul, wanting us so badly he's willing to chase us down, come to where we are and unashamedly call out to us to open and let him in. This is an aggressive move, but not overly so, as he wants us to open the door and let him in freely, not by force. Knocking is also uh, the third step of a three-step prayer promise. Matthew 7, 7, Ask, it will be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be opened. John 10, 9, Jesus says, I am the door. If you anyone enters by me, he will be saved. That's the Greek word sozo, which uh, means saved from eternal death, made whole, healed, preserved, and made well. So John 14, 6 says, I am the Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is the entry point through which we must go to get to the Father. He's the door. When we knock to get Jesus' attention, we are humbling ourselves, admitting we have no answers and we need uh, help to get our prayers answered. This confirms that we are dead to self and sin, to God and alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord, Romans 6.11. And finally, there's a knock uh, that Jesus talks about that I don't have any part of. Uh, it's, it talks, it's a parable about our eternal salvation in Luke 13.25. The owner of the house closes the door, and you must stand outside knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door to us, but he will answer, I never knew you. In Matthew 7, 21 through 23, Jesus explains, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of the Father in heaven. Many will say, Have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, done many wonders in your name? And I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. That's not an answer to a knock that I want to hear. That's why we take heed to what matters most to God. And the greatest of these is love, 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Focus on God's love. Ignore life's distractions, Proverbs 4, 25. Have a great day.